to the channel and I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. This lab is just recently updated so here is a new solution for this lab. So first of all just me log in your credentials and once you're done with that just me come back over here and activate your cloud shell. It will take a couple of seconds meanwhile just me come back over here click on the task number one and then the copy this first command come back paste hit enter wait for a second and then just click on authorize now come back over here scroll down then copy the second command just wait and run the second command over here now it will take a couple of minutes to execute this command so just simply wait over here make sure that your laptop will not go for sleep otherwise your cloud should be disconnect and because of that you might face error so just simply take care of that thing And it's finally done. Now just me come back over here, scroll down a little bit and click on this check my progress. You will get a score without any issue. Now just me copy this command, come back, paste, hit enter, wait for a second, and after that it will ask for the password. So just me wait. And now it's asking for the password. For that, just me copy this thing. Make sure that you do not copy this last full stop. Otherwise, you will face an error. One more thing. Password is not visible for us. So we have to just me copy that and paste and hit enter. That's the thing. If you have performed this step correctly, then you connect it to the database. Now what you do, just me scroll down, copy this one, come back, paste, hit enter. Then copy the second query like this way, come back, paste, hit enter. And it's done. Now what we do, we have to create a data stream. For that, first of all, just minimize this thing. Okay, now just scroll down, copy this data stream over here, come back and just search. Click over here. Click on this enable. And it's finally done. Now just me click on this connection profile over here and now we have to create a two profiles. So just me click on this create profile. First just me choose a Postgres. Now for the profile name just me scroll down over here and from here you can see this name. So just me copy that. One more thing when you have to choose a region just me choose a region which mentioned on your lab instruction page. For me the given region was US East one so I am going to choose that. For you it might be different so just me choose according to that. Okay. Now for the region just me choose that one. Okay. Now for the host name IP here just me search for the cloud SQL over here like this way. Open this thing new tab. Come back. Okay. From here just me copy this public IP over here. Copy this thing. Come back over here and just me paste over here like this way. Okay. Now for the username, password and database just me copy this content and paste over here like this way. So it's done. Now just me scroll down, click on this continue. Then just me click over here like this way and from here just me choose the IP allowing list like this way. Scroll down, click on this continue and then just me click on this run test. Wait for a second. And it's done. Once you get a green tick over here, then only just me click on this create button over here. If you are not getting a green tick, that means you haven't performed this task carefully. Just me rewind the video and watch it again. Now just me click on this create button. Meanwhile, we will create a second profile. So just me scroll down over here. Now we have to create a BigQuery connection profile. For that, just me copy this name carefully. Come back again. Click on this connection profile over here. Again, just me click on this create profile. This time just me choose a BigQuery. Now just me paste the name. And from the region, just me choose a region which mentioned on your lab instruction page. That's it. Then click on this create button. So you have successfully created your two profiles. Now we have to create a stream. Now just me scroll down, copy this name carefully, come back, just me wait, it's done. Click on this stream over here. Now I request you please pay attention because this is a very important part of the lab. If you make a mistake over here, then you have to just me rewind all the step again. Now just me paste the name, 
stream name okay now for the region just me choose a region which mentioned on your lab instruction page now for the source type just me choose a postgres sql and for the destination just me choose a big query because if you come back over here and from here you can see it's mentioned over here in future if you are able to find a different thing that time you have to just me choose accordingly that okay so we have done with that scroll down and click on this continue button over here like this way just me click over here from here just me choose this and then click on this run test over here wait for a second and it's done once you get a green tick then only click on this continue button okay now for the replication slot name just me scroll down over here and from here you can see test replication just me copy this and paste over here now for the publication name just me copy this name and paste over here that's it scroll down click on this test checkbox over here that's it make sure that you have to do all these things over here once you do click on this continue okay it's done now just me click over here from here just me choose a big query destination profile click on this continue okay now from here just me choose a region and from here just me choose your region which mentioned on your lab instruction page for me the given region was us east one so i'm going to choose that now just me scroll down and from here you can see this limit so just me choose zero seconds over here because if you come back over here and from here you can see it's mentioned here only okay now just me click on this continue and then click on this run validation over here if your validation is failed that time you have to just me redo all the steps again if your validation is succeed then you have to just me click on this create and start so as you can see all the checkbox are tick so then only click on this create and start and then click on this create and start wait for a second now so stream is created successfully if you want you can just me click on the start button and then again click on the start button over here like this way now it will take a couple of seconds to start the stream meanwhile if we just me come back over here and click on this check my progress as you can see we got a score for the task number one now if we just me click on this checkbox you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated immediately don't worry just wait until your stream gets start so we will wait for a couple of minutes and once it start we will check the score So as you can see now stream is started over here you can see it's in running position now if you just me come back and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not update don't worry just me wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a full score over here without any issue as you can see we got a green tick also now if i just me click over here And as you can see, it's done. And that's the way we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubts, please do let me in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a good day, guys.